have a new uh, scrapbook to share with you. It is a 9 by 6 uh, with a 3 inch deep spine. Uh, this is created with a K and Company floral uh, set of papers. Uh, it's called Watercolor Boutique and I, I've had them around for a while. Um, I don't know if you can find this exact set but um, Kane Company does make some beautiful floral uh, papers. You can probably find something that makes you makes you happy. Um, I'm going to start with the cover. what it looks like. The spine is a piece of the pattern paper um, embossed with a Dari's Dots embossing folder. Uh, I took the paper and I laid it in this way twice and ran it through twice so I got the full, full width of, and depth of the paper that I um, covered the spine with. Then I took um, probably tea dye. It could be vintage photo, but I don't think so. Um, distress and just um, used my my pad like this and just went over the top of the dots and edged the paper. And this is the only distressing I did was on the cover. Um, I also did it on this trim, which is a Martha Stewart punch. Um, what is called Deco Fan. It is an around the page punch, and I use it throughout the album. I use several colors of my um, distress. I used tea dye, I used sponge sugar, I used worn lipstick, I used um, tattered rose, shaded lilac, mm, mowed lawn, and uh, what did I use for the blue? I think I used stormy sky on the blue. So lots and lots of colors. The um, flowers are all created with the Martha Stewart Hydrangea Punch. And to create um, the papers that I punched, I actually colored white cardstock. I colored it with my um, Distress inks. Um, I also used, so, no, it was shaded lilac. I don't think I went as dark as Dusty Concord. And then I went over it with my iridescent pan pastels and just different colors here and there. These come in six colors and one white. So I've got a nice shimmery paper which I punched my butterflies, flowers, and the fairies out of. Um, the top piece here is a Spellbinders uh, Parisian Accents. I used this piece. The doily is actually two pieces of the floral doily used. I punched out this one, this one, I punched out this one, and then laid uh, this in the center. So I got a nice, a nice doily look before I put the, um, the watch piece on it. Uh, this is... Joy Crafts 
It's the feather, and this is new, so it is still readily available. Let me see what else have I done here. Um, this is Impression Obsession, the um, fence dies. And to do these, they're, they're really neat. They have three different shapes, as you see. You can do straight, uh, straight across, curved down, or curved up. And they punch out like this, so you have to cut out an extra end post. And I would, I would trim this off so it's straight. And, um, and then you just glue it on the end to make your last corner post, like I did here. The, let's see, the bird cage is a memory box. And I embossed it with ancient gold uh, embossing powder from Ranger Ink. And it's called Princess Gold. It's a fine embossing powder. So um, I used it again on the inside on some uh, on some text that I stamped on that was small, and it came out perfectly. Oh, uh, next. Um, this is a stamp, and this is from Lady's Diary from Graphic Forty Five, and I used my pan pastels to color her gown in the pink and the blue. Um, I used the champagne color uh, liquid pearls from Ranger to highlight the six buttons. Uh, what color did I stamp her with? I stamped her, I'm pretty sure, with a brown. archival sepia and I don't know why I would have used any other color because um, I wouldn't want it the colors to run um, oh, so much on this cover this is uh, a jewelry finding it just it's lo it says love l-o-v-e uh, this is a a silver brad that holds on a little piece of silver chain. Uh, the silver chain is this, and I um, I just buy it as a nice, nice long piece. So I've got lots of it for future projects. I think I got it for a dollar at Walmart. Um, the resin roses were a bulk buy off of eBay uh, some time ago. The little rhinestones in the center like to fall out, so I have used um, silver stickles on the inside of the roses. Uh, the clock face is something I found in a package at Michael's some time ago. The heart, the rhinestone heart buckle is uh, a piece I found on eBay, as is the iridescent ribbon that I wove through the uh, fence. This is a Tim Holtz um, metal tag. It says captures life's moments. And I used pink paint to get on the inside so the inside lettering would be pink. Rub that off and then just rubbed on a little bit of white. I didn't want the, the tag to be pink, but I didn't want it to be just silver either. And I used white paint on the clock face. Uh, this is a ticket I made with uh, my Tim Holtz ticket strip. And I use... Um, I've, I've got some tickets throughout, and I, I um, cut, stamped a piece, a large piece of um, 
ivory card the same as I've used throughout the book uh, with a Tim Holtz background stamp and cut my strips to a um, eighth inch narrower than the ticket and then I stamped my sentiment um, Motobella, uh, very beautiful and I use that on the tickets throughout Oh, anything else on the front I can talk about? The butterflies. The butterflies are created with two different ways. Um, this is the Martha Stewart punch. Um, medium classic butterfly. And this butterfly is made with two dies from... Um, Oh, memory box. I'm sorry. And one layered on top of the other. And when you cut these, each one of them has a body piece, so I, I used the extra body piece on my Martha Stewart butterflies. Mm, ivy tendrils is what makes the, the vines, again from memory box. And I took a piece of white uh, cardstock and I used my green iridescent pan pastel with um, this brush, this sponge here. You can see it's all green. And just colored a piece of paper, and not a whole piece, just a piece about this big, um, and cut my vines out of it. You can see them better here. But everything is is soft pastels. The branch is Memory Box Woodland Branch and I um, used silver embossing powder on it so it's um, a really pretty silver branch hanging out there. I think that's it for the cover. If I missed anything, shoot me a question and I will answer it for you. Put this down to protect the cover. Okay, I am going... We'll be moving this back and forth a bit. Um, let's zoom out a bit. Okay. Inside cover is a waterfall. Um, it has a magnet closure. This is um, an on the edge doy, die. Um, Tattered doily, distressed doily from Tim Holtz, and I um, cut three three pieces with it: uh, the base piece, the front, and the back. So I have the front and back both both covered with pattern paper, as well as cutting the base piece for the flap. Butterfly layered so the wings fly. Um, a vine, two flowers. The tab is from Stampin' Up. Everybody loves this tab. Um, I really hope they reissue this punch. Uh, it, it is an amazing, wonderful, wonderful tool. Magnet closure. I use magnets throughout. Uh, crystals of different colors are used throughout the book as well, depending on the theme. This is simply um, the deco fan punched twice on a one inch strip of paper. And here's the waterfall pieces. Now the each back is the same green here, so uh, you could use a um, white or black 
a black pen would be okay, maybe if it was a Sharpie, but I think a white gel pen would make, would do really nice journaling on the back of these. Closes up. Here's our first page. Um, this is Impression Obsessions Wide Branch. Um, I made my own envelopes. I like like what Spellbinders has done, and um, so now these all all fit into a shoebox. I have great access to my dies now. Again, I um, used silver embossing powder. I cut two of these so I have two layers so it's a little more rigid because I wanted to be able to slide a picture and this tag, photo tag behind. Um, here's one of the little tags I made. Very easy, easy to make. These little resin hearts are again a buy off of eBay. Um, I finished with crystals throughout the whole whole book. I think it came out really, really pretty. Definitely very feminine. So this page flips open. So you've got lots of real estate here for um, for photos in this album. There is, of course, a large tag between each page. And again, that uh, tab punch from Stampin' Up! Okay, the back side of each page is the same except for the colors. Um, this one is blue, as you can see, with blue crystals around. And everyone has a coordinating tag that comes out from behind. I won't pull them all out. Left handed is not my strong hand. Okay, now on this side, we have a belly band here with a fairy on it. Um, she was colored with the um, Pan Pastel Iridescence. Uh, she was not cut out of the, the uh, colored paper that I created. I cut her, cut her out of my 110 pound chipboard, so she's already rigid. I didn't have to do two layers, um, and I just used the pink for her hair and body, and then went in with purple and yellow for her wings. This little booklet is the same as this, just folded in half. So this is really, it's very beautiful, but it's very easy to make. Now the butterfly wing just catches on this band, so it won't slide anywhere. We have another flap here. A pocket with another mat in it. Room for more mats. Plenty of room for journaling. My pages that flip have an extra eighth of an inch here, so they're not. Um, they're, they're going to close easily after you put your photos in. Uh, another map between the pages. Here's our yellow, yellow side. Again with the tag here. Here um, we have a small booklet for photos or journaling. You'll see it's the same size as this, just simply fold it in half. 
and orient it to fit this way. A couple of tickets. This is Daisy Fan from Martha Stewart, a deep edge punch. Full size tag. And, um, oh, left hand is useless. This is called Laurel Leaf Trim, also from Martha Stewart. The, um, this is the gold embossed stamp I was talking about with um, it, it came out perfectly with that fine embossing powder from Ranger uh, next page purple with iridescent crystals fairy from um, fairy Cali die from Spellbinders. The bird is from Impression Obsessions Small Birds, which is this this set. And then these guys are from another Impression Obsession set. I think it's just called Birds. I, I can't swear. The birdcage is the same as on the front. It is um, embossed with the um, Princess Gold embossing powder. The branch is the same branch as on the cover, again embossed in gold and silver. This is a piece I found at Michael's, um, which I just used. It was already black on the inside, so I used some pink paint and then uh, rubbed it off and came out with this look which I really liked. The corner pieces are from a cutting die set that I have no idea where they came from. Um, bought them used without packaging but I've, I've used them a lot in my um, my projects. Okay, this flips open this way. Again, open and then it opens this way. So this lots lots of space on this page. Magnet closures, of course. There's uh, the tag from in between. You are not going to run out of room for pictures very quickly on this one. Uh, this is a blue themed page, blue crystals around, um, again a, a tag there behind. Um, the, the laurel leaf band, a ticket stub, a small mat, a butterfly and a flower, and then a full size mat. Whoops, you go in here. And this butterfly is a stopper. pages. Got pink and lavender on these two pages. This page flips open. Magnet closure. Now this, both of these pages open to the left and then to the right. So it's not a gatefold. And they do have magnets keeping them closed.
and this is, I believe, an Impression Obsession die. Um, I could be wrong. It's my best guess. This is what it looks like. It could be Joy Crafts. I just don't know. I bought it so long ago. And a piece of uh, glassine cut behind the window. Uh, the uh, window boxes are the Tim Holtz pediment die, which I just cut down to fit uh, fit these windows. Here's the tag for the center. Here's the last page. I uh, we have another of the small booklets, the tag behind. And I created this by cutting a corner, punching a corner of the paper with the corner punch, and then cutting it out square, and then finally punching the bottom corner round to match the round corner on the mat. And I ended up with a little corner pocket holds that tag perfectly. Another full size tag here. A little uh, ticket there. Uh, the uh, back is, the back inside cover is simply a pocket. Again the daisy fan. A small photo or journaling tag, an envelope, and a full-sized photo mat. There you go. Very feminine photo album. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to ask. See you next time.